Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, you guys, I am having some sim simple comfort food. Um, I am having some cod, some breaded and fried cod fish and some Parmesan garlic potatoes. And I have a caprese salad which is um, a mix of greens, some tomatoes, mozzarella, and a balsamic vinaigrette. I have some ketchup for my potatoes. I have some uh, cocktail sauce here that I wanted to try with the fish. I also, of, co of course, have some hot sauce. And I also, you guys, have um, some mustard. I My stepfather eats his fried fish with mustard, and I've seen a couple other people from down south as well um, eat their fish with mustard, so I wanted to try it. To drink, I am having a tropical pineapple Dasani. Can you, oops. Can you guys see that? I like these. Um, these are yummy to me. I can't find that ginger one that I had, you guys, that I really, really, really liked. I can't find it, and I don't even kind of remember which store I got it from. It's either one of two stores. Um, and I can't find it. Ooh. That is good. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in because I'm really, really hungry. Some Parmesan garlic potatoes. First bite for you, there you go. This is like pan fried, saute, no oil. Mm. Excuse the noise. I have my front door open. The neighbors are coming home. Mm. This is good. I'll try this fish. Now I like cod. I like catfish and snapper too, but I like cod. Oh, sorry. I didn't I didn't eat it. There you go. Nice white, flaky white fish. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. That's good. I'll try it with some hot sauce. Well, let me try with the mustard first. I'm a little nervous, y'all. Okay. It's good. I can see why people will eat it with mustard. Sorry. I don't know if that's something that's done down south. All I know is my stepfather is from down south, he's country, and he does it. And the people that I've seen do it, mm, mm, are from down south. I think I like it most with the with the mustard. Mmm. I don't know if it brings up the flavor of the fish or what, but I'm gonna do it one more time. Hold on, let me try. Cocktail slice. That's good. sauce <laughs> mustard mustard I never thought that is so good every time I've seen him do it I'd be like Turning my nose up to him and everything. Mm. 
Mm. Now I see why. What do you guys eating with me today? Hopefully it's something delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Dressing. Salad. Tomato is juicy. Oops. Um. Sorry. I'm supposed to be talking to you, but I'm still into my food. Say you guys, <laughs> just that quick, guys. I made some really good lemonade, some fresh lemonade. Mm. We have got a whole bunch of lemons. I think they're from someone's tree. I think they're from someone at church. Their tree. There were some big lemons too. They were kind of so hard. Threw them in the microwave a couple minutes. And things were so juicy. Like I tried, I tried to cut them in half and like the juice was just everywhere. I had to poke a little hole in them and let all the juice squirt out. And that lemonade is perfect. On my first try of adding the sugar, the water ratio, perfect, first try. I didn't have to taste, add more sugar, taste, add more water, none of that. I got this. I am a sweet tea and lemonade expert. <laughs> In the process of making that lemonade, I didn't realize how many cuts I had on my hand. My hand was on fire. You have some little nicks here and there. It's all good though. Mm. I know y'all don't, or some people don't like to hear the clanking noise. Did I ask you guys what you were eating with me? Comment down below what you're eating. Mm -hmm. And if it's something good, expect your doorbell to ring because I'm on my way. On my way to have some whatever you have. Oh, I'm put my potato in the my syrup. Mm. Don't do that. I right, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Mm. Ooh. Thumbs up the video, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already done so on the side of the subscription button to notification bell. Hit the bell to be notified every time that I upload a video. Mm, mm, 
I am satisfied with this meal, you guys. Not too fancy. Nice, good weekend meal. Easy dinner for the fam bam. Oh. What the hell? This is one of those um little salad bowls that you can get in the grocery store. For those of you that watched my dumpling video, I was telling you guys about the lady that I bet over here by a dog. She posted again and her leg is so bad. Like the first picture she posted, the, yes, or whatever, the day before, it was like a a ring, a big ring, like probably like this big. A bruising, and then the four punctures of the dog's canines. Today, she posted a picture, and her whole thigh is like purple. She said that, um, I guess the doctor she went to see said that um, she didn't need a rabies shot because it was a it was someone's pet. It wasn't like a wild animal. The way her leg looks, she need I would go get a rabies shot. I know that that series is very painful to get, but her leg looks horrible, you guys. And the guy that um, owns a dog, we're not sure, but people think that he abandoned his dogs. Like, just let them go somewhere. Because now um, those dogs are running loose and people are spotting them, but they can't catch them. Horrible. I'm just going to say, you know, I wasn't an animal lover until I got Cupcake for the simple fact that I've always been afraid of dogs or basically afraid of animals, any animal, but especially dogs. And then once I got Cupcake, I was, I'm no longer afraid of dogs or, yeah, that fear is not really there. But, like... People, if you're gonna get a, a dog, a pet, anything, like, I don't know. Make sure you're like ready to have a pet. I, I People that get, sorry, I'm about to go on a rant here. So if you don't wanna hear it, you can click off now. My apologies, um, but it drives me absolutely crazy when people get dogs, they get a puppy because it's cute and because it's fluffy and because it can fit in your purse and you can go out shopping with it or whatever. And then when the dog gets bigger, people don't want it no more. And they end up abandoning the dog, giving the dog away, leaving the dog who knows where. That ish, sorry, I'm not gonna curse, but that stuff pisses me off. It drives me insane. Like, I hate when people just abandon their pets. Like, what the hell did you get a pet for in the first place? Sorry, I'm ranting now. I'm gonna hit a soft spot. It just drives me insane. It was like, I don't know if you can ever really be ready for a pet, just like you know, no one can really be ready for a baby. But like, if you're gonna get one, just know that you're gonna keep that pet forever, and that's it. And if situations come up where, what kind of people that have given their pets away because they've had to move? which I disagree with, but to each his own. People have given their pets away because the pet got too big. Cupcake was supposed to be, Cupcake, when she was given to me or when she was sold, 
she was sold as a five pound teacup. She would get no bigger than five pounds is what we were told. Cupcake is 16 pounds, you guys. And it's not from overeating. <laughs> it's because the breeder didn't tell the truth. And you can't just be like, oh, I don't want the dog no more. Okay? People do some silly stuff, I tell you. Silly, silly stuff. If that man really did abandon those dogs because he's afraid, all right, that sucks. Train your dog not to attack. You wouldn't be in no trouble. Well, if they catch him, you're going to be in even more trouble for endangering an animal. So I live in California, you guys, and the laws that we have for our animals are some <laughs> real laws. I know a lot of states don't have it, but like pets and animals have more rights than a lot of humans do, than a lot of children do. Um, you know, I hope they catch that guy. I'm sure they will because, like, I'm sure his neighbors or his family, well, not his, his family probably won't turn him in, but I'm sure his neighbors will. And, um, like, you know your dogs in your neighborhood. Like, I know my neighbor's dogs. All of them. I don't know all their names, but I know all of their dogs. Like, I can recognize their dogs. My apologies for my little rant. If you ever want to get me fired up, harm an animal. See what happens. <laughs> no, I'm not asking any of you to do it at all. But that's what makes my blood boil. That and um, like abused animals, abused children, abused elders, and homelessness. Those are things that I am passionate about. All right. Those things are not okay. All right, how long is this video? Sorry. <laughs> I think here comes Cupcake. This stuff is good, y'all. Tomatoes are fresh. Nice and juicy. I'm gonna finish this fish and these potatoes. I'm going to sign off. Try your fried fish with the mustard, y'all. I don't know if all fried fish, but cod is good with mustard. Now, I like my catfish and snapper with hot sauce, so we'll see with that. This will be a good sandwich. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some cheese. You know, sandwich with this. Or I don't have tartar sauce, you guys, because I don't like mayonnaise. Someone asked me if I was allergic to mayonnaise. No, I just don't like it. Never have since childhood. Actually terrified of it. Like if some got on me. I'd 
probably pass out and die. This is good. Tasty now. I like my simple mukbangs, you guys. And most people like to see the king crab, the seafood boils, and all that stuff. When I watch my mukbangs, you guys, I do watch the seafood boils and the crab. Um, not all the time, though, because everybody's doing them. And some people do. I, I think sometimes they're done too much. It's good, but every day, you know. So when I watch mukbang, I just want to really want to see what people are having for dinner. Or what's normal. You know? Having meatloaf. And I like to get ideas from people too. So when they're cooking stuff, I love getting ideas and the recipes and stuff. I mean, everybody can make a seafood boil. And don't get me wrong, I like them. I just don't like eating it all the time. I don't like watching it all the time. And I'm going to support everyone that I'm subscribed to if they're putting up a seafood boil. Because that's what I do. I'm going to watch it. But I just like seeing, you know, real Sunday dinners. Soul food. You know, a good week, week weeknight dinner. When you just got off of work and got to help the kids with their homework and something quick and easy. Like a nice good casserole dish or something like that. Man. Ooh. Ooh. That's cold. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. I will save this piece of fish for later. Um, once again, thumbs up this video, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the notification bell on the side of the subscription button. If you do, you'll be notified every time that I upload a video. Feel free to share my videos um, on any social media platform or with your family, friends, coworkers, bae, whoever. Um, <clears throat> I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I noticed you guys. Um, thank you. Welcome to the fan band. I want to say thank you to my day ones and my loyal viewers. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. So come back and join me for another mukbang, a cook with me vlog, or ASMR video. The cook with me is coming. I know I said that on the last video. It's coming. I just don't know what I want to cook yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe something for Halloween. We'll see. Anyways, I will see you guys on the next video and I appreciate you guys. Uh, come back and join me again. Okay? Alrighty. Love y'all. Catch it. Got it? Good. Bye.